Welcome everyone. I was taunting you with the prospect of a bonus video today and here it is. I was able to find some time to get this filmed. Um, at the end of the video, I'm going to show some new wallpaper that's in my collection, but you probably came here to see this journal. This is a journal that I made over the weekend and it is called Forever. And I thought I would just take some time to flip through it. Often when I'm doing marketplace journals, I don't have the knowledge needed to tell you where I got everything or give you tips and tricks because I didn't make the journal. I can just show somebody else's work. But when I make the journal, sometimes I like to take a little extra time to show you what I've done and to point you in the direction uh, to get some of the same supplies or things like that. This is a single signature 80 page journal and um, I had so much fun making this. The base is a file folder and it's been covered with this lovely fabric and I want to thank Sherry Sawyer for sending me this fabric as well as this lace up here. She just sent me some scraps and I've seen other people use this fabric to make journals before. In fact, I've sold journals made uh, by other people from this fabric but I was really happy to get a piece of it for myself and I think it is so pretty on here. The closure is Sari Silk. This is Sari Silk that I've purchased from Victorian Gypsy Girl on Etsy. And I love her Sari Silk and that's where I purchased mine from. And um, like I said, the lace is from Sherry. And then this is a stamped bird image on some fabric. I've stitched around it, added a Tim Holtz word, added a beaded safety pin here that's just clipped on. You can take that off if you wish. And it is backed with some paper printed from Digital Curio. That's an Etsy shop I love as well. So I want to show you this journal is for sale in the Lindsay's handmade section of my website. The link is below. So I covered the file folder with fabric and then I folded it over the edges and then I lined it with this book page. The front cover inside front and I hate when my phone just decides to cut off for no good reason. I have not figured that out about my new phone yet and I'm not sure where I left off with this journal so I'm just doing a quick flip through back of these last couple pages to where I was. So I'm going to pick up here and hopefully you didn't really miss anything. This is a graphic 45 image. This is a really nice heavy duty cardstock. I love to pick by this brand. It's Craft Warehouse brand and I get it at Tuesday morning whenever they have it. It's nice and thick. This is their 8x8 size. So I've added that graphic 45 rooster. This is Graphics Fairy. This is Inspirational Butterflies. It's one of my paper packs. It says Embrace the Wonder. And then there were some purple lines on it because the printer was having some issues. And so I did not ship this one, but I still think it's pretty. And then, of course, I paired the purple lines with this purple construction paper over here. I have a little ribbon here. This is some, I believe it's probably vintage construction paper. I got it from Feed the Birdies on Instagram. It was in one of her paper packs. I've done stamping and I created a journal card here. These are some roses from a book on roses, just backed with some green paper, and I've stitched around it. This is a vintage image club um, image. You can join that over on my website if you love public domain images, and that's really cute. It says he gave her all his money for a rose. It's a flower girl and a sailor buying a rose for his sweetheart. I have uh, floral book pages. Then this is Victoria Designs from their Halloween steampunk collection I was working with last week. This was just a background page. It's really like rusty patina look and I had printed it on 20 pound paper, uh, tan paper, and I didn't use this in the Halloween journals I made last week. It was extra so I put it in here since this one doesn't, it's just a plain background. I have some vintage book page that I made a pocket. I have a little handmade by Lindsay Zanor and a little tag. I've layered washi fabric and then this cute little bow there on the pocket. I've stenciled on the back here and then I've added, this is my favorite, that's a chipboard piece as well as some ribbon. I have a little pocket here with wallpaper and lace and then a little wallpaper piece and then a foiled tag. This is from, I believe this is Caroline's Craft Tree, gorgeous page. And then this side is stitched around here. This is from my kit, Wings of Prayer. It says, God's mercies are new every morning. This is a vintage paper from, I believe this was also from Feed the Birdies. I've just layered up washi fabric and like a pearl trim. Then some stenciling. This is a wallpaper piece of 
paper here that I've added. I've done a little rose tuck spot. And then this is from Yvette Kowali. I love her doodles. She sells in the marketplace supply section on my website. And this is one of the goodies she sent me. So I've used that in here. And then this is a playing card. It's bridge of flowers, bridge and flowers. So I've added that. And then I loved the back of the wallpaper because you could kind of see some of the floral through it. And I've just made it a, made a little snippet with a butterfly button. Mm. This is a Victoria Designs page and I've done a little floral stamp and stitched around the edge. And then this is, I forgot the name of this um, shop, but this was a page from some Etsy shop I had purchased from. And I don't remember what I tried to do. I tried to glue something on here. It didn't work. When I ripped it off, it left white. So I inked it up and so it looks really shabby. I've also sprayed a little bit. And then on this side is some coffee dyed paper from Above Par Crafts. You can purchase some of her coffee dyed paper in the Marketplace Supplies website or section in my website. I've just sprayed some glimmer mist. I have a little corner tuck spot here and a journal card and a tag from Elopa Designs. That one says artist and it has the definition. And over here I have just a stitched simple journal card and then an image. Um, I think this is from Dear to My Heart, one of my um, ephemera collections. And on this spread, these are, I think these are Vict Victoria Designs. I don't remember. This is from Abandoned Beauty. That's one of my kits. And then I have stamped on this butterfly in color, just added a little bit of marker color to that. I'm gonna have a little cluster up there as well. More coffee dyed paper from Above Par Crafts. This was Happy Mail, made a tuck spot. And this is just a piece of paper that I made a tall bookmark out of. And this is just a piece of like a ugly scrapbook paper. I punched out a um, little scalloped circle. I put a little bee print from that book, the same book, The Living Garden, from this. And it's a little bee and then I backed it with some beautiful scrapbook paper and stitched around, stamped, added a ticket. This is Country at Heart 2008. And then I have a pocket over here with a little applique flower, a teeny beaded safety pin, a while you were out sheet that I got from Joanne. And then I think this is either from Elsie Bell's bookshelf or TLC Creates Vintage. I think it's from Elsie Bell's Oh, I am not sure, honestly, but it says joy in him. Our hearts rejoice for we trust in his holy name. Psalm 3321. There's a little label up there. This is from Vintage Image Club as well. Vintage paper. This is from Wings of Prayer, one of my kits. And then this is one of my uh, ephemeras from, I think this is dear to my heart. I punched a tag or used a die cut to cut a tag out of it and glue that on here. This is Caroline's, and then I have a lace leaf and a purple button. On this, I have layered up some papers and then really uh, fun cut out. I use my scan and cut to cut out these flowers, and I've added that for layering. And then Live Your Adventure, that's Tim Holt there. More stenciling. This is a playing card, a little squirrel, and then another one of those. Um, this is Psalm 9-1, but I backed this with ivory cardstock, and then I've done some postmark stamping on that. On here, I've just added this little coffee dyed file folder from Above Park Crafts, but I've doodled a flower and then I've written notes so you can write on that. On the other side, we have a, this I got in Happy Mail. It's a little sweet stitched tuck spot. It's backed with this pattern paper. It's very flexible and soft. I love it. I've made a big tag out of scrapbook paper. And then this image here, this uh, collage from Joanne. I've added an eyelet and tucked that in there. More of that construction paper and I've punched some roses out of that. Inspirational butterflies make magical memories. Graphics fairy. And then on this sheet, this is where I ended for the night decorating. I decorated up to this point. So I used some modeling paste, a stencil, and some Ken Oliver color, not color bursts, but liquid watercolors. And I made these little flowers and then there's a butterfly hanging from this fabric strip. On this side, this was from Happy Mail. I think it was Magnolia Designs or 
Fatima, I think, sent it to me in Happy Mail. It is a little flip with some papers that you can journal in. It's made out of wallpaper. I glued it down just so you had more pages, and I've added this flower to the front of that gorgeous book page, stenciled and dyed paper. This is a playing card as well, mother and little girl reading a book. Got this in Happy Mail, more Parrot Isle, and I've just doodled around the parrots. Altered paper clip I got in Happy Mail, and I've added this tag that Joanne made to that. A little tag I made, a stitched paper ribbon on the vintage paper. This is a tuck spot. It is an antique clock flash card. The flash card is not antique. It's just a picture of an antique clock, and you can slip in photos or papers. We have TLC Creates Vintage in the background, and then this is a vintage cover, the Blue Book of Birds of America. I believe it's 1931, and this is the front and back cover. It has the old tape on it. This is an actual vintage ephemera piece, and then just a little label I got from Tammy, Wisteria and Hydrangea, and Antique Papery. So I hope you love it. This is my true favorite style, what I love to make for journals. I'm starting on another journal, and I can't wait to share that with you probably later this week or next week, but this is for sale right now. So as promised, I'll show you quickly the wallpaper I've added to Lindsay's supplies. This one's called Snowdrop, and it has three pages, or three sheets, 11 by 16. This is Chamberlain. There's a lot of texture to these. Gorgeous. This one's almost a fabric texture. So that one is gorgeous. Blushing Blossoms. If you love floral wallpaper, this is a set for you. It even has some dragonflies. And I believe, I was thinking there was a butterfly. Maybe not on this one. Charity Florals. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. Make some gorgeous journals. Lindley Gardens. Again, these are all from the same wallpaper book, so you can mix and match the collections. And then these are borders. There's eight of them. This is called Cottage Garden, and they're just wallpaper borders from a sample book, and they coordinate with all of these collections. So just a bonus video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you a ton of inspiration and maybe get you started on creating a journal or decorating a journal or whatever you're working on. I will see all of you in the next day or two with the next video, which is a supply video, and we will have supplies from Sherry and Tammy. And I know that you will be super excited for that. And I think there's an August challenge journal in Tammy's box as well. And then the video after that, we'll be finishing up any miscellaneous July journals that were missed. So I hope you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not, and don't ever let your creativity fade.